Hey, good morning. This is Jeff with Cedar Rapids Construction. Uh, just doing a short video here of a uh, basement room. I guess it's uh, like a den or a study uh, kind of space. We we're finishing. Uh, we came over and framed it uh, about half a day last week, maybe three quarters of a day last week. Um, got all the inspections. Electrical rough in done on Friday last week, and then uh, inspections done on Monday morning, or actually Monday about noon, and the guys come over and started hanging drywall uh, right away on Monday. Um, they got a tape coat on on Tuesday, and as of right now, we're all skimmed out, and uh, we're going to plan on sanding and texturing this afternoon. Like I said, uh, so since about Tuesday morning, today is Thursday, so two full days, it's all been hung, filled, and ready for texture. We've got a little bit of wet spot there. We just skim coated that corner. Um, it's gonna have a linear fireplace in here, about a five and a half foot linear electric fireplace, recessed in the wall. Um, lighting, we're gonna do cans in here instead of wafers. Uh, that way we didn't have to have the electrician come back. They usually put X's on the floor where the wafers go and we're having the pots and floor put in here or probably starting floor put in. Um, he's starting tomorrow afternoon. So it should be done over the weekend is the plan. So we actually did can, so we don't have to worry about measuring and marking back out. Uh, kind of the same feature as doing wafers anyway. It's just, uh, I think it's more work, but that's the way it goes. So uh, this wall here is existing. This long wall was existing. Uh, frame that wall in, frame that wall, that wall, that wall. So this is the only wall here that's existing. Eight foot ceiling, we just uh, we just tip the sheets up. Um, a lot easier to do, we don't have to worry about uh, doing butt joints. Just uh, hitting the tapers real easy. We had three butt joints in the ceiling, actually four. We had one over here uh, for this little niche area and then two existing butt joints. An existing wall we had to fill. Um, this is the load wall here. Uh, there's a beam up there, above there. Uh, we had to put a cold air return in. Colony uh, getting air conditioning came in uh, last Friday morning. Cut in a cold air return for us and uh, just had to do a exposed duct. Since there's a beam there, they couldn't get inside the beam to do the uh, chase down, so we just rolled the duct out inside the joist and back into the uh, cold air return. But it's definitely what Colony did was 10 times better than what the guy that built this house a few years ago did because you almost hit your head on these cold air returns for the basement. So it's nice tucked up in there. The outside of this wall, it's just going to be uh, you're just putting a uh, uh, fire tape coat on it, just fill coat to match uh, the existing stuff that was already there. So uh, easy peasy. Uh, like I said, we're going to texture this this afternoon. Um, we'll get all cleanup done right first thing tomorrow. Our four guys gonna come in tomorrow for the afternoon. Uh, he's gonna hand grind this floor. We couldn't get his machine down in this basement because the floor, some of the issues with transition from the floor upstairs uh, with the wood, it was really about breaking. So we're just gonna hand grind this. It's only like 12 by 14. Not a big space. Hand grind it, uh, prep it, fill the joints, and do the pollen and start it. It's gonna be like a marble. I believe it's a white. I honestly didn't, I didn't sell this job. Uh, Carmen did. I'm just here helping out with the drywall, setting all the, all the details of the floor product that's going to be used, but I'm pretty, pretty sure it's a polystyric and it's, uh, I think it's like a marble, marble look, white and gray, uh, from what I understand, so that's kind of it. Uh, we'll, we'll do a video when the uh, work is done, it should be done. Plan to do a set trim and doors, uh, probably Monday or Tuesday, so uh, paint Monday, so possibly doors and trim Tuesday, so we'll try to get a video up. Uh, next Wednesday when it's done. Thanks for watching.